right, I am here with a little surprise. Um, obviously, you're seeing a blanket, and inside that blanket is a baby. Um, this baby came to me. Um, she is second hand, so I think I am actually her going to be her third mommy. Um, she came out of the collection of an artist that I buy from often. Um, you can probably guess who. Um, she was not painted by that artist, but she did come out of her private collection. And I'm going to apologize if you hear leaves rustling. I have um, a yard full of beautiful trees and the lighting is just so much better here in the shade than it is um, in my house. So I apologize if you're hearing a little rustling. All right, so in the box of this baby were some diapers and they're very sweet. They have little butterflies on them. I think pretty sure they're honest diapers. I'm gonna set those off to the side. Also in the box was some sweet little pink booties that have a yellow ribbon in them. They're very teeny tiny. And a hat, beautiful pink, super soft with a yellow creamish trim on them. And wrapped around the baby is some twine and there's a little pacifier attached that says, I love daddy. I was not expecting this baby to come today. I was expecting her to come tomorrow or the next day. So I actually, she came earlier today, but I have been racing around getting stuff done um, so that once I opened her, I would have some time to enjoy. I'm gonna set that pest fire off to the side. Let's see, I'm pretty sure this is her head. Unwrap. Oh, I'm seeing baby. Oh, she's got mitts on. Oh, look, her little finger's sticking out of the mitt. Let's start down here by her feet. All right, she is wearing some beautiful white knit booties. They're very, um, kind of like open knit. They look really pretty. A little white ribbon. They come part way up her leg. I'm going to slide that off so I can see her toes. And that's modeling on this baby. Just a minute when I'm all done opening her, I will show you her birth certificate and COA and tell you who her artist was. Wow. I know you guys are a little bit far away. I'll try to add some pictures at the end of this of her so you can see. She's got curled legs. Wow, they're pretty nicely weighed too. And she has on a little diaper, has a nice um, floral print, kind of bright. Matches her little dress. This dress, this is a beautiful white dress, very light and airy. The beautiful duck embroidered on it. Oh, I love things like this that are kind of um, vintage, soft, sweet. All right, we're gonna take off her little mitts that she's wearing. These mitts are pink with that yellowish green trim. head yet. See a little trim on this pretty dress. So pretty. Perfect for this time of year. Oh, there's her other hand. She's got a little bent pinky that's kind of sticking up there. Two fingers straight out. One finger and a thumb kind of tucked together. This hand is pretty expressive. All right. On to her face. Oh, I can see her. You probably can't see her face. I'm going to very gently turn it so you can see. I don't want to mess up her hair. Oh, there she is. Oh my gosh. Her hair is amazing. Mandy told me her rooting was just amazing. And what I'm seeing. Obviously, she is a crier. Here, let me take out her information. This baby is the hazel sculpt 
hope I'm getting that so you can see it. If not, I'll put a picture at the end. And she is kit 57 of 500. And I always mess up this sculptor's name, but A.K. Kitawaga? Somebody will have to help me with that if I'm butchering it. I apologize. And she was actually reborn um, in April of 2019 by Dreams of Tiny Angels Nursery. And oh, my goodness, blew right out of my hand. Um, I have enjoyed following her work for a long time. And when I first saw this baby up uh, for sale on Mandy's page, you know, I knew it was coming from her collection, but I did not realize at first that the artist was Dream of Tiny Angels Nursery. Um, that was pretty exciting when I realized it. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to pick her up or if I want to zoom you guys in. I think I'm going to adjust her, zoom you guys in a little bit so you can take a look, and then I'm probably going to turn off the video and hold her. Oh, look at that little face. Oh my gosh so expressive definitely definitely a crier here let's see her pacifier i did ask mandy um she sent me some pictures of how she looks with a pacifier oh she looks just like you know when babies are starting to pitch a fit and they're getting ready to spit that pacifier out oh my goodness she is so cute well i will definitely um take some video take some pictures and tack them at the end of this video so you can see. I'm sure you're going to see this little lady on Instagram very soon and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.